We now have the official reason for Teda Norfuji's withdrawal. It was quietly decided on Tuesday, the day he went for his doctor's note, which, as you'd expect, cites osteoarthritis in both knees and diabetes as his grounds for needing to rest up until March 31st. It was also revealed that his knees had flared up just prior to January 2, their condition continues to oscillate. Coach Isegahama, speaking on his pupil's behalf, this afternoon said, Terunofuji wants to appear, but his initial charge is lacking force. It was actually okay a short while ago, but as you know, maintaining condition is difficult for him. His upper body's okay, you see, but his lower body's just not there. His following words, though, were more upbeat. He's way better off than he was in January, and I'd think he'd be okay for May. He's training far more than before, and for now it's a case of preparing a body that can fight for 15 days. He must build himself up to a state in which he can really perform. In other words, he can't invite a repeat of this. His coach believes he will train at the Osaka camp throughout the March tournament, where he's greatly encouraged by neighborhood fans, and will definitely join the April tour. Isegahama's job as chief judge has been taken over by coach Sadoga Take, who today said this of Takakesho, who belongs to the same group of stables. We can't say he's an official Yokozuna candidate until the sumo starts. But once things are underway, I'm sure he'll be viewed in that regard. What's crucial is that he wins this title. And if he wins it in his signature style, he will surely be discussed for Yokozuna. As the only Ozeki and highest ranked fighter left on the card, there's a responsibility I want him to fulfill. Takakesho starts with two tricky bouts, Tobizaru and Tamawashi.